What if there was a better way to power our devices than with the batteries we use now? Made the new aluminum ion battery. Scientists are asking, could aluminum be the key to a longer lasting, more efficient battery? Let's find out together. The researchers are focusing on aluminum rather than lithium as the raw material for the batteries. They are doing that in order to avoid the instances of lithium batteries catching fire and the difficulties of finding them. Battery research is of the essence to produce vehicles with fast charging speed, e-cars, or portable devices. They, however, have widely been used with lithium and lead batteries that are not only dangerous but also hard to access. That's why aluminum is an attractive alternative for battery fabrication, as scientists are already examining this option. In fact, the majority of batteries use lithium, which is sourced from different chemicals, minerals, as well as rocks and salty water reservoirs. Nevertheless, lithium is not enough. It needs other minerals, such as cobalt and phosphorus, to be efficient. The required minerals are not easy to obtain. Indeed, aluminum is common on the planet Earth. Scientists have introduced an alternative option of aluminum instead of lithium batteries recently. These aluminum batteries may be better because they could be affordable, lightweighted, and easily accessible. Tests have demonstrated aluminum to be storing maximum energy and recharging strongly in comparison to lithium. If you own an electric vehicle, the battery of that car will most probably be a lithium ion one. These batteries have a long lasting energy and it can be recharged many times. Electric cars are very convenient, they have quite a range, and there are plenty of charging stations around. However, there are others who think that the lithium-ion batteries need upgrading. They can be recycled, but they have parts that can cause environmental pollution. The need for batteries may increase and so will the waste. For instance, India is without lithium, and therefore it has to buy batteries from somewhere else in order to manufacture electric cars. To build aluminum batteries, Indian Oil Corporation is tied up with the Israeli energy company. They intend to use the minerals that are present in huge amounts in India to manufacture these batteries. Though the country doesn't have a lot of lithium, it still has the necessary inputs for aluminum batteries. Developing small-scale battery plants instead of importing them would be a huge strike on the way to electric vehicles in India. People of the low-income bracket could be able to buy electric cars when prices are lower. Lots of people think that India will be able to run without fuel in the future. Presently, India ranks third in the list of carbon emitters among all the nations. This technology is state-of-the-art in aluminum batteries. If it proves to be successful, it can overturn the whole battery industry. Such batteries could be capable of driving for much longer distances than the longest-range lithium-ion ones if they prove themselves. This is a fact. Even though car companies from all over the globe have planned to invest more than $500 billion in electric vehicles in the coming decade, batteries are still a problem. Yet, despite the fact that the lithium-ion batteries have improved, there are still some big problems to be solved in the cost, weight, range, and charging time. The aim is to design such a battery that is both lightest and cheapest in its category, and it may be fast to charge, just like a gas tank. The mainstream activities have so far been directed towards the improvement of lithium batteries. A solid-state battery that replaces the chemical components of the conventional batteries with solid or foam substances is an illustration. But on the other hand, there are efforts to improve the ultra-capacitor technology as well. Graphene Manufacturing Group's GMG batteries, which can be charged 60 times faster than normal lithium-ion ones, are said to be an aluminum-ion battery. GMG, a Brisbane-based Australian company, has signed up the University of Queensland for research. They are focused on manufacturing graphene aluminum ion batteries with the help of technology from UQ researchers. The GMG aims to manufacture demo pieces for smart watches, phones, laptops, grid storage, and electric vehicles. They have also finalized a deal with UniQuest, UQ's commercialization arm, for exclusive production of those batteries. GMG claims that their batteries can be able to charge devices such as iPhones in 10 seconds, which is much faster than current lithium-ion batteries. What is more, their power storage is three times larger than that of the average aluminum batteries, which means that they are the best of to this moment. GMG claims that these batteries are the most reliable, powerful, and charge up fast when compared with the other graphene aluminum-ion batteries being developed. This kind of battery is made of aluminum foil, aluminum chloride, ionic liquid, and urea. They are less difficult to attain than lithium, meaning that the batteries are safer, they charge faster, and they can store more energy. 
In contrast to lithium ion batteries, aluminum ion batteries charge fast due to the fact that they do not need to exchange as many electrons when recharging. Aluminum ions can move faster and can be used more effectively. While aluminum ion batteries do not heat up as much as lithium ion ones, which usually require a cooling system in electric vehicles, they are still safer than lithium ion ones. In addition to this, aluminum is considered safe even when decomposed, because it is a non-toxic material. That's the feature that makes it the most attractive option, since lithium is not so common. This shows that lithium ion batteries are an important factor to the mining sector, which can be even higher than the aluminum ion batteries since the rare earth elements are part of the process. This is because aluminum ranks among the most recyclable materials on the planet, thus these aluminum ion batteries far outlive the lithium ion cells. The price of making it is much less than the price, for example, a ton of lithium was approximately $1,460 in 2005. This cost of carbon has soared significantly since then, reaching a current total of $13,000 per ton. Apart from this, the price of a ton of aluminum rose from $1,730 to $2,078 at the same time. Aluminum atoms will be added into the holes of the graphene planes by nanotechnology approaches, which results in the formation of the battery. The process involves drilling some one atom thick holes into the graphene. After that, aluminum is stored in the holes. The energy density of the battery cell is increased significantly due to the company's advanced method of creating graphene using plasma rather than the traditional method of making graphite. As graphene-based aluminum ion batteries come into play, what does the future hold for them? The GMG UQ battery is competing with projects from quite a number of different universities and institutions such as Cornell University, the University of Maryland, the European Alliance Industrial Collaboration, and the Department of Polymer Science at Zayas University among other institutions because of the fact that the graphene-based aluminum ion batteries are a key focus of many of the leading institutions and institutes worldwide. The graphene aluminum ion cell from Stanford University is in second place in the ad hoc ranking of published performance. The energy density of this cell is 41.2 watt per kilogram or 68.7 watt hour per kilogram. Nevertheless, the testing shows that the GMG UQ machine has a capacity of 700 watts per kilogram or 160 watt hour. A bright future of graphene aluminum ion batteries is predicted from the increasing number of studies and the great benefits they accomplish. In the near future, however, it has all probabilities of superseding lithium ion batteries technology. For now, GMG will sell its graphene aluminum ions on the market by the year's end. The cell will devote its efforts to the development of smart wearable gadgets that have a charging time of less than a minute to target this market segment. The company will be manufacturing pouch cells for electric cars by 2024. GMG's technology is modifiable to meet the requirements of the already available housings that are used for lithium-ion batteries in electric cars. It is crucial to understand that an automobile product's life cycle may take more than a decade, which is very important. That concludes this video. Regarding the new aluminum-ion batteries, what is your opinion? I hope you found the video entertaining and learned something new. In order to see more videos like this, kindly give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Until the next one, see ya!